welcome dear viewers to the video on differences between the modified release control release extended release delayed release and prolonged release type of formulations see these terminologies are generally used interchangeably and many of the times the professional get confused between these terminologies and also these terminologies are sometimes used as same like modified release extended release controlled release are used in a similar way and prolonged release is also understood as a similar to the modified release and controlled release then delayed release is different from these type of modified release formulations in many of the literature you will find that delayed release is one of the type of modified release formulation and that is also true so first of all whenever you see a term modified release that means the release of the formulation is changed and it is not like immediate release type of formulation then controlled release and extended release and prolonged release these are nearly similar terminologies we will start the video with some basics why these release modifications are needed the aim of sustained release prolonged release extended release is to provide the consistent drug release and thus maintaining the drug plasma concentration and the need of maintaining the drug plasma concentration is to have the better outcome from the treatment the release is modified or changed then immediate release type of formulation to sustained release prolonged release or extended release to reduce the side effects toxic effects associated with the immediate release type of the formulation also these modified release formulations reduce the side effects which are there because of the immediate release of the drug in the stomach or immediate release in the intestine that means the another aim of mr formulations is to reduce the git side effects these mr formulations may be made with higher dose compared to the ir formulation and that's why these formulations reduce the dosing frequency and once a day administration can be possible with modified release type of formulations these formulations are prepared to maintain the therapeutic activity of the drug for an extended period of time to protect the active substance against degradation due to low ph this is one of the important reason for making the dr type of formulations delayed release gastro resistant or enteric formulations will provide the protection of the active substance against the degradation due to low ph then mr formulations are made to target the active substance to predetermined segment of the gi tract and also for local treatment for targeting active substance release at a specified time points this is another important reason for release modification the mr formulations are available as tablet tablet formulation capsule formulations and pellets formulations then first of all we will see what is sustained release formulation so whenever you see the label claim as sustained release then you should understand that it is not a immediate release type of formulation and it is a sustained release formulation 
The sustained release formulation releases the drug over a period of time at a slow rate. That means compared to the immediate release type of formulation, the release is slow. SR formulations help to reduce the side effects as the drug release and absorption will be slow by the sustained release type of formulation. Generally, these sustained release type of formulations have a release period of API ranging from 6 to 8 hours. Sometimes the sustained release formulation release the drug from 4 hours to 12 hours as well. Example is Pregabalin SR tablets. Then we will see what is the prolonged release type of formulation. So as the name indicates prolonged, that means it has the longer drug release period and more slow release than the SR formulation. Now this is the difference between SR and PR type of formulation that prolonged release type of formulation is more slow compared to the SR type of formulation. Prolonged release formulation releases the drug over a period of time at a slow release rate compared to sustained release. PR formulation helps to extend the presence of active drug substance amount in the body and that's why prolong the therapeutic effect. Generally the prolonged release type of formulations have release up to 16 hours and this 16 hours I am saying for the dissolution point of view. The dissolution of 16 hours may reflect the in vivo around 16 hours or more or less. So this release period is for the dissolution. Also some prolonged release type of formulations are given once a day. The example of prolonged release type of formulation is carbamazepine PR tablets. Then come to the modified release type of formulations. These formulations release the drug in delayed manner and at a specific intervals and maybe at specific target areas in the GIT. So this design is made as per the therapeutic need. MR formulations are designed to reduce the side effects. Also, these improve the patient compliance by reducing the dosing frequency. MR formulations also improve the drug efficacy and safety. The example of MR formulation is diclofenac sodium MR tablets. Many other MR tablets are also available in the market. Then extended release. So, as the name indicate, this formulation releases the drug for an extended period of time. For example, say the drug release of 12 hours, 16 hours or 24 hours. Another example from the NSAID class is diclofenac sodium available in the extended release type of formulation. Then ER or XR is the suffix for these extended release type of formulations after the medication's name. The example for extended release type of formulation is mod metformin SCL extended release tablet. Then come to the controlled release. The drug release for extended time period at a constant rate. Now this controlled release type of formulation will release the API at a constant rate. This previous precisely control the drug release rate and thus the drug levels in the body can be controlled. CR formulations release the drug in predetermined rate and achieve the plasma concentration. Controlled release formulations enhances the safety efficacy and convenience of drug therapy. Examples are like paroxetine CR tablets. 
so many examples you can find in the literature for different type of formulations then come to the delayed release formulation these are also known as enteric coated formulation or gastro resistant type of formulation and i have included this delayed release type of formulation because here also the release is modified that's why these are also the type of mr formulation the drug release in the basic environment of intestine after its intact passage through the stomach without any release so this is the main importance of this type of delayed release formulation this bypass the release in the stomach and that's why it protects the drug from acid degradation in the stomach and protects the acid labile drugs this reduces the side effects that is because of the release of api in the stomach or in the gi that is the drug release is having a lag phase for 1 to 2 hours and then the drug get release in the basic environment of intestine delayed release enteric coated gastro resistant formulations are the another other names for delayed release type of formulations examples are doxycycline dr capsules omeprazole isomeprazole dr capsules then rabeprazole is also the example for de delayed release type of formulation here i have included some abbreviations like cr for controlled release dr for delayed release er for extended release ir for immediate release la for long acting lar for long acting release mr for modified release pr for prolonged release sa for sustained action sr for sustained release tr for time release excel for extra long time period release yes yeah, xr for extended release or extra release also then xt is extended time or extra time type of release with in the mr formulations so these are some of the abbreviations if you come across such abbreviations then you should think that what type of formulation it might be generally excel type of formulations are given for uh, one once time once a time in a day that is excel type of formulation also xr type of formulations are given in in a day at a one time only so this is regarding modified release formulations many of the times these terminologies are used interchangeably like extended release or prolonged release or modified release then xl xr pr sr this type of abbreviations are there used for the formulations so whenever you come across such formulations try to understand the reason for making that formulation with a modified release type i hope you might have got good understanding out of this video and if you have any comment or questions then please write it to me and i will try to answer these type these uh, comments or questions thank you for watching the video